Hi guys, it's me Karen, and I've come to do a little review on the Arteza colored pencil set. Arteza has sent me the colored pencils and another product that I will have another review on. So first off, I want to let you know that the um, case for this is ex exactly the same size as the watercolor pencil set. So they stack nicely on your desk, which is wonderful. They also have come in the uh, same uh, colors. So you can mix and match the sets if you wish to do a little bit of watercoloring and then coloring in any areas that need a little more shading or anything with the same colored pencil, which to me is absolutely wonderful. <laughs> okay, the um, set has got a few pencils missing because I put them out on the side, but I did the same thing I put the washi take off on it so I can get them out for some reason. I just cannot grip this little piece. I put them in the same order as the um, back of the box so I can whip these out. And they have the three trays like they did before. Same exact colors, which is really nice. And I will pick one up here and show you. Now these are round and the um, watercolor pencils have got octagonal barrels on them. The other difference between them is these have two silver bands and the watercolor pencils only have one and they have a little paintbrush on it and these don't. So we have Arteza's name, we have the expert here written so you know what pencil set you have. They have the uh, color name, the number, and the light fastness on it also, just like the um, watercolor set. And I've sharpened all of these with my sharpener, so they have a nice sharp point, which they keep very well. And as long as you're not pressing down really, really hard on just the tip, they don't break very easily, which is nice. Now I've used um, the ones that are missing out of this set to do a picture. I've also uh, swatched all these out, so I will show you my swatch page. Get that out of the way for a second. My swatch book and the page is right here. So you'll see that all the colors are quite bright. And we start with the Ari Brie going down. We've got a lot of pinks. We have some colors you could use for skin tones, mm, iffy, if you're really light-handed with it. <laughs> we have some purples, blues. The blue section is nice. The green section is wonderful. This is a set of 72. Be nice if they got a little bit more uh, in the brown tones because there wasn't quite enough in there. This is the white. It kind of shows up on this bright white paper, but you know, White never usually shows up, so it's kind of a waste of time to put it in a swatch book, but it, it's there. Lots of greens, though. And you can find enough browns to do a, a tree. But uh, those are the gorgeous colors. Beautiful names, just like the uh, watercolor pencils. So we'll get that out, and then I'll show you the picture that I did. Okay, I was going through this book and looked for a tree because I wanted to try out the browns. So what I did was used the turmeric camera, uh, camel, burnt ochre, sienna brown, and the dark chocolate, and made a range of colors to do the tree in. The uh, flowers here are done in the pink macaroon and the garnet, and the leaves are done with the yellow sapphire pear and moss. And it turned out really nice. Um, I believe this is Create Space paper. I'm not sure. I was told it was. The uh, inking up here is just a distress ink. It was actually just what was left on the ink pad and I wanted to put some darkness up there in the corner. So I was going to find another picture in here so I can show you how creamy these go down. I mean, they are gorgeous. I don't know if you can see there's going to be a tiny, tiny bit of shine on that because they are a waxy type pen, but they are also a hard type pen. So what I'll do is I will find 
the book that has the other tree in it and I will show you how I did this one. Okay, the book I'm working in is Ruby Charm Colors Adult Coloring Art Journal Volume Number One. And on this page here, we have uh, the tree with the beautiful little gazelles. But I have a tree on this side that I'm going to use. And I think I've got you close enough bottom of the page and we're just going to go up this side and with these pencils here are the ones that I used and I don't need all of them one of these was not used in that so you're using um, five of these and you can even cut out one of these if you want to the most of it is done in the uh, turmeric which is a 077 and you just pick a highlighted area. We have these little orb things on here, so I'm going to put the um, highlight on this side of the tree. So, I mean, that goes down really creamy. I would say close to um, a Prismacolor because they're so soft. And I was hoping they would be from the... Uh, watercolor set goes down this smoothly also which I really liked so then we're going to go in with the camel which is um a110 just kind of go over the section of turmeric that we put down and it just gets it a little darker Okay, then we're going to go in with the Burnt Ochre over the same section and down a bit. Now laying these um, down, if you use a soft hand on these, you can get a lot of layering done on them. This is the Sienna Brown A048. This has a little more red in it. Just adds a really nice shadow going up onto the other colors. And the last color we're going to use is the Dark Chocolate. A118 and that we're going to put down here in the corner and bring right up into the other colors. And that's how I did the whole tree on the other page. If you want to add any more of the red or anything, just bring it on up into the other colors. You still have playroom in, not playroom, <laughs> playtime with these colors because I only put on um, the uh, tumor because it's one coat. So you can just keep layering on this if you like, but you can, excuse me, use it also to shade it in. So you can take the turmeric back over all of that and just get a really nice blend. I am really liking these pencils. Now on top of um, just using these, you can also use the watercolor right with them which is great. And then I have a set of the water brush pens. You could probably use those. You can match the colors pretty good. You're doing the same layering here. Go in the other direction.
anyway you get the gist here <laughs> so you just keep going up into the little leaves and that's how I did the other page <clears throat> and I'll show you that tree all finished again and that's how that was all done okay now for the opinion on the colored pencils I've tried, you know, in the books, the coloring, and I like the way they lay down. I think they're a very nice pencil. I think they're going to be an excellent pencil for somebody who wants to try to get into a soft core pencil. They go down really smooth. I love the vibrancy of the colors. They're all very bright and very pretty. I would have preferred a little bit more of the browns, but I mean, you know, I have enough to work with, so that's fine. Um, one of the things I was mentioned to me by one of my viewers is the um, pencils are kind of like the um, watercolor pencils. I'll, I'll do this one um, check. All the colors on this set and the watercolor pencil set, they're identically the same. Names and numbers. So if you put them in this order, both of your sets will be in the same order. So they have the same colors, which I thought was great. And then um, they mentioned <laughs> that her set of colored pencils are also water soluble, which I thought was interesting. So I took out two pencils and I'm gonna take out two pencils, the same colors in the watercolor set. And you can tell the difference because they're hot oxagonal and these are round water brush no water brush and the lemon one so i picked a bright yellow because yellow is kind of a <laughs> favorite color of mine and then a, a pink okay and what i'm going to do is take just a piece of copper copy paper sorry and i'm going to take the watercolor brush. Are these the same color? I got fruit punch. Yeah, okay. And put a little double there. That is the watercolor. Okay. Then I'm going to take fruit punch and put it here. This is a regular colored pencil. Okay. <laughs> this is the watercolor in lemon. And this is the watercolor in the pencil. Or, I'm sorry, the yellow lemon in pencil form. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to let you come to your own conclusion. I did contact Arteza and they said they were going to send that information to their representatives and figure something out here. But because I use um, Distress Ink in my coloring and I usually put it on top of pencils, I have a problem. Um, doing that because the Distress Ink is water-based and if I run it on top of the colored pencils, it will activate it. So <laughs> when you're thinking about these pencils, keep that in mind. It might be a really cool option for you to get the uh, colored pencils that lay down so nice and smooth and have the nice round barrel. And I do love them. They're they are a nice pencil. I just wish they didn't do that. I have tested out my Prismacolors and my other pencils that I have and none other, no other colored pencil activates with water unless it's supposed to. And like the Derwent ink tents, because they are water soluble, will do that. But I found that very interesting. But say if you're coloring in your um, 
really bad papers that you guys don't like because they leave little white divots. You could add a little water to these and it will fill in your little divots. <laughs> anyway, I wanted you to know that. Other than that part, um, I really do love these pencils a lot. I think they are a really nice set. 72 pencils for under um, 28 bucks. Perfect. You can get these for um, your up and starting artists also. And uh, they will love them. My daughter likes uh, the watercolor pencils a lot. So I'll let her borrow those a few times. <laughs> but um, that is uh, about the uh, gist of it. Uh, round barrels are nice and smooth. They are the lightest pencils I own. They sharpen to a point really nice. They lay down really smoothly. They blend really well together. You can do up to, if you have a soft hand, 10 layers, uh, making it a great place to do um, variants of your colors. If you have a hard hand, you can still lay down on top of this after you've pushed really hard at least twice. <laughs> It depends on how hard you push. <laughs> anyway, I just thought I'd let you know all that information. Thank you for watching, guys. I will leave links down below for a 10% off coupon for anything in their store. That is good until August. And I will leave the um, links for the watercolor pencils, the colored pencils, and um, all the other off, uh, products that I have. I'll also leave a link down below to Arteza's channel and you can check out their reviews and what they offer. So I hope you all have a great day and thanks for watching. Take care now. Bye.